Hey guys, this is Tona. Today I wanted to talk about Ross Wither and why I am hoarding. So first of all, I want to show you guys that I am hoarding just so that way you believe me. You can see here I've got 242 of these requisitions. I've got 36k Blackstone. Um, I'm aware that a lot of people aren't going to be able to hoard as much as I have. I'm kind of uh, obviously the exception here uh, with a little bit of whaling and a little bit of um, people ref being referred by me. We've gone up a fair bit. <laughs> it's kind of gone out of control. Control now. I, I started and I was like, okay, we'll get to about a hundred and then we'll be fine to be able to get Ross with her when she comes out. But uh, unfortunately not yet. Um, we keep getting people referred. And if you do want to support me, that's one way that you can do it. Just go in here, go into the refer a friend, enter my code. You'll see on the screen here under your under here and you're gonna be able to support me and we're gonna be able to get more to be able to do this massive orb open, uh, massive uh, opening here. And um, when I say massive, <laughs> this is, this is a lot, uh, we, we've gone a bit overboard here. This is obviously not what I expect you guys to do, but if you can hoard as many requisitions and Blackstone as you can, this is going to be suggestible because Ross Wither is insane. This character is single-handedly the best character for, um, raids, um, in my opinion. Uh, she is just off the charts crazy. Yes, there's going to be other characters you want to bring in to support her and everything like that, but she is going to be an, an amazing damage dealer. So why? She's obviously, she's like... She's just a random character. She's uncommon to start with. She's not and not something that's kind of notable or anything. But why is she so great against these raid bosses? It's her passive here. Now, as we level this up, obviously it's going to get to some crazy levels, but as you can see, it deals additional damage against psychers, which means that every time that she deals damage against those psychers, she's going to be dealing additional damage, uh, which is obviously going to end up... Um, kind of snowballing out of control because as soon as you kind of start dealing damage with her then you're going to be able to deal more her range attack hits for two her melee attack deals damage for three so each one of those gets the additional damage here uh, from this her uh, her ability here deals additional damage as well now why is this so interesting because every single guild boss is a psyker if we go in here to the guild bosses i've still got to do my hits for today um, you'll see under here that each of them has the psyker trait there uh we can have a look at the side guys now these don't have the psychers um they don't still so enemy psychers within them deal less damage to these guys but uh, sorry, that's enemy psychers. They're not psychers, so the um, the primes aren't. But the main boss here is. So the main boss here is a psyker, um, which means that you're dealing an additional damage every time that she hits. So the crazy amount of damage that she can put out, uh, as you can see here, we've got uh, Skippy up here. I know Skippy is using uh, Ross with her constantly and putting out some really big hits constantly every time he attacks he's going to be putting out bigger hits because of ross with just snowballing out with this extra damage there um you obviously need some support characters to go alongside her currently i'm running um i'm running archimatos i'm running um uh Aleph null here and i'm running uh, Yarek plus the two Eldari that are out currently. So those are like my five currently, but I'm going to probably replace one of my summoners. I might even replace Aleph Null. I don't know. I haven't completely decided because Ross with it, just dealing this additional damage is going to be crazy. So it, eventually she's going to end up being in these requisitions. We're not sure entirely how long um, is currently she's not in them. As you can see here, she's not currently available in them um, because unless you actually had originally obtained her during her event, which was like the first kind of um, first event since the launch of the game. Um, I believe it was the first event since the launch of the game. Um, that was like the only way to be able to obtain her back in at the end of August. And if you had have attained her then, then she would be in the requisitions. But if you haven't, then she's not in them. So I'm currently hoarding for when she eventually gets added in. Um, I'm kind of bugging 
<laughs> ratter to see if we could figure out when that's going to be. But I figure there's no harm in me kind of holding on to these for now. Um, obviously, if you require stuff immediately, then it's going to be worthwhile kind of spending them. However, there is another reason to hoard. Um, another reason to hoard. If you are starting the game... If you are just starting the game and uh, currently kind of working through the campaigns and everything like that, I believe that it is worth hoarding until, until you come into, um, where is it? Whoops. Fall of Cadia and you complete this mission here. Celestine currently is one of the strongest characters in the game as well. She's incredibly powerful, especially within the live PvP. She's crazy in there. Um, if you want to hoard, uh, if you kind of are just starting out the game and um, stuff, then it's worth hoarding until you get to this stage here and kind of complete uh, full Acadia 60 to be able to unlock Celestine. Because before that, you aren't going to be able to obtain Celestine Shard. She's not going to be attainable in in here until you actually clear through that. Now, if you are interested in like learning a bit more about these requisition drops and everything like that, we have another video on that. Um, that you'll be able to find on my channel that's going to take you through why characters aren't obtainable and what characters are obtainable at the very start and everything. So that way you're able to kind of go through there and figure that all out. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's worth hoarding at the moment until Ross Wither drops in there and we'll see how long that ends up being. That's my opinion. Um, if you have different kind of um, advice, let me know down in the comments. But that's for today, guys. Have a great day and goodbye.